First you start by creating an invoice from the account. So we'll call this one Frosty's invoice. And set the contact and salesperson and then save the invoice. And you go into write in products and create a new invoice product. So I give it a description and then set the price per unit. We'll use $100 for this example just so we can get an exact amount of tax. Quantity 1, then save the invoice product. And you'll see that the tax has been calculated to $15, which is exactly 15% of $100, and the extended amount as well. And then if we look here, you can also see that it has updated the extended amount on the associated view of the product and if we open that up again and change the price to $1,000, when you save the form you'll see that the tax is also calculated along with the extended amount. So now if we run an invoice report, you'll see that the GST has been calculated and added on to the total. If you want to change the GST, you can go into Settings and click Tax Rules and then open up the invoice or any other record that you would like to change the tax for. And you'll see a tax field where you can edit the tax amount that will be changed over all of your invoices in CRM.